Coach, you said after the game uh, at Cleveland State that you wouldn't start being confident until you started to win some of those games. But is there a uh, an upward trend in your attitude about uh, how this team is going about things, even though they're not getting over them? I, I don't know. I mean, I have, I have a hard time figuring this team out. I mean, I think. You know, you think we're playing better basketball offensively that we can't guard people. You think we're guarding people, and then we don't score offensively. So it's hard to say we're putting it all together. I think the last couple of games we've scored, we've scored better um, against Wright State and at Cleveland State. You know, we scored about as good as we're we're going to score. Got in the upper 60s, low 70s. Um, you know, that's a lot of points when you consider the. The percentage that we shoot to get those points—I mean, that's a lot of work to get that many points in one basketball game. So, you know, I, then you know, at the other side of the coin is we lost both those games. So defensively, we didn't get it done. You know, the game before that at Detroit, you look, we guarded, and then we didn't score. So I, I don't know what kind of swing we're on at the moment. I know we've got two home games left this week, and then we start a tournament run, and, and that's always an exciting time of the year. So I know I'm looking forward to the next couple games. And, uh, to see where we end up. Well, is that the most frustrating part that you just don't know where this team is? I think so. I think I don't know that. You know, we've been talking about it. Well, I guess I've been the one doing most of talking um, about our inconsistency, and I think that's something we failed to uh, conquer this year. We're still tackling that every day, trying to decide which team we're going to be, how hard we're going to go at practice, um, you know, how efficient we're going to be offensively, and, and we're just. You know, you guys have asked questions about a second score and all that kind of stuff, and that's changed from game to game. They're just there's not the only real consistent part of our game right now is that we Brandy usually scores the ball pretty well for us, um, and, and unfortunately, um, you know that's not quite good enough. Bogey kind of touched on the fact that um, it's it's about changing your habits. You know, losing is the worst habit to have. Um, can you just kind of touch on that thought and and her as a senior echoing up, you know, that kind of. <clears throat> I mean, I think Boki has an understanding of what we're trying to do, but and it's just changing, you know, we talked about habits or the culture of what we do and how we do things on a regular basis and um, being able to have consistency in everything we do and not be so up and down with things. And, and I, I think she's exactly right. Those are habits that you know, I think you, you see signs of us breaking those habits because there are some ups. It, you know, as, as negative as I've been with them at times, it hasn't been just a horrific season. It's been very frustrating. Um, but there have been some ups, and I think that shows that we're starting to break some of those habits. But, you know, as you, anybody that's had a habit, I mean, I used to bite my nails. I didn't just stop on Monday, stop biting my nails. You know, you do, and then you start biting your nails again. Or whatever your habit happens to be, it isn't changed as quickly as I would like this season to change for us and you know, hopefully we'd like the foundation to get a change in the future. Has it been more challenging than you thought it would be coming in or is that hard to gauge? Uh, it's hard to, I mean, yeah, probably, probably. I guess maybe I thought I was a better coach than I actually am, so that may have had something to do with it. Um, but don't worry, my confidence is okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I thought we would buy into it a little bit quicker than we did. And, you know, I, I thought you'd see more consistency out of us by this time of the season. You know, I think you're seeing us play a little bit better offense now. Um, you know, I thought this would have happened a little bit sooner. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't. Um, but hopefully, hopefully we can carry what we did last week offensively into this week and into the tournament. And then at least we'll start to see some progress. Bob, as, as Boki is your long senior, just a little bit on her and what she's meant to the program, especially in the transition year here. Uh, uh, Boki's... Um, I, you know, Boki's value is not, I mean, obviously she's one of our starting guards and she gives us value on the floor, but I think her biggest value is her maturity and how she handles things off the floor and her approach and, you know, a very, very worldly person has a, has a, a fantastic understanding of how things work in the world um, and, and not, not a selfish kid at all. Very willing to work for what she gets, and and just really, uh, and it has an appreciation of the game. I think a lot more than and some of our young kids do at times, and and I, hopefully they've learned that from her. That this a game that quickly ends. Um, you know, I think the season always it seems to end a little bit too quickly for most people. Um, 
but she's a kid that's never really took anything for granted and worked from the day I met her. So I mean, she's been she's been a treat to work with uh, on the floor, and then and then getting to know her off the floor is probably the biggest pleasure. How would you describe this year? Your first year of new team. Obviously, you came in with the losing streak, but how how would you describe the last six months for you? Uh, uh, frustrating. I think it's probably the most frustrating year of coaching I've ever had. Um, you know, I thought that we would have been better by now than we are, and you know, when you don't reach your goals and expectations, I, frustration is really the only thing that that really I can think of to describe that. You, you, know, you try to you have a goal, you don't meet it. And it's, it's frustrating to me, um, and I think that's probably the biggest summation of this season for me. Talk a little bit about the matchup with UIC. Yeah, I mean, I had to watch, I mean, obviously we always watch tape, but I forgot who the heck the kids were. It's been so long since we played them. Um, but they, uh, you know, they're, they're a team that's very guard-driven, very guard-oriented. Um, unfortunately, their guards are fast. Um, they get to the rim, and you know, kind of similar to Detroit's guards, but I think they're bigger. Well, I know they're bigger. They're bigger than Detroit's guards, so they present kind of a different problem that way as well. Um, you know, we did a pretty good job of containing Detroit's guards the last time we played them, but we did it at a cost, and that was giving up three-point shots. And UIC, I think, is a little bit better three-point shooting team. So we're not going to be able to commit quite as many people to stopping penetration as we were able to do uh, up in Detroit a couple weeks ago. Uh, you know, so that's a challenge, and uh, you know it'll be exciting to to get back out there and, and try to redeem ourselves after a, we had a very poor showing in Chicago the entire weekend. The whole Loyola UIC trip was a disaster. Um, the best part was. Uh, John and Ashley got to watch fireworks at Navy Pier. That was the highlight of the trip. Um, so we get to, uh, you know, try to try to rectify that situation a little bit. And that's always moderately exciting.